have here, come on in. So we're going to do lemons kind of coming down, cascading down. I think it'll be cute. I've not done them this way. Last year I did a round Lazy Susan with lemons and it turned out super cute. I'm going to take, I love this pretty aqua teal blue color, but I'm going to tone it down a little and put some white in there. And this just kind of makes it like a Bahama blue for me. This is Laguna that I'm using. And when you add white to it, it really gives you like a Bahama blue. And that's the color that I really wanted to do for this background. I think it's going to be gorgeous with the yellow lemons on it, don't y'all? So you could do yours any way you want. If you want a farmhouse look, you could do like a wood background. And I definitely have done tutorials on that where you can get that wood look. Do y'all like this background, that color? I don't know, I just kind of pictured it a little lighter, so I'm going to lighten this up with this white. That'll be good. Our design. It's right here in my head, so it shouldn't be hard. And I'm probably just going to do, you know, lemons are not the easiest for me because I don't know, just symmetrically, I always get one side a little off, but that's okay. I'm not worried about it, y'all. You know I like to bring my design on the side, and then I'm just going to kind of continue on like so. look okay let's see I have to look in here too and see if, if that's gonna be okay I'm just putting out and sorry I haven't named them but um, we've got antique gold we have summer squash of course white and black always have those we've got a raw sienna here we've got bittersweet chocolate here um, we've got Laguna this blue that we used here and then our greens are festive green and sour apple so those are the colors so I'm going to do that brown but then I'm going to go back over it with this lighter brown just right on top of it like so you can even grab a little white I don't know if I did and kind of mix that in too but see then it just all kind of blends together and gives you a pretty stem I've got my little vines, most of them, um, and I might go over some of them, like I might kind of go over some of this with green as it goes on to the leaf. I probably will. So just a little touch of that brown. So here I'm just going to take that green and start bringing it down into the lemon on each of these and into the leaf here. like so I kind of feel like maybe there's a little green going into that lemon I don't know I should have looked at a picture I'm kind of going from what I did last year on my high rock sand not very broad it's wood white and hard the bark is pale green oh Diana you're awesome look at all that info um, so, so brown is not correct, I'm hearing. Darn. See, I should have looked. We can definitely go over that brown. And it's okay if it's some brown, you know, like it doesn't bother me. If I'm not totally correct on colors or whatever. This is whimsical art. And as you see, it's easy to do. Easy to fix if you make a mistake. Um, I'll show y'all. I've got them back behind me. You see them on that table all the things I did that they turned out so good I am going to add some of that green in and this may be too thick it sounds like from what you're saying but that's okay when you do yours make them thin okay let's go on and do our leaves kind of in the shape sort of like a football 
we're going to get down our base color and then we're going to go back on top and do some fun things with it. This is a small flat brush. Let's bring that tip on the side. Okay, so lemon, lemon, lemon. So there's the base of our leaves. That's all we've done is base of our leaves a little bit. Guess what? I can't believe I haven't told y'all this, but it just happened yesterday. I put t-shirts in my Etsy shop. They're the t-shirts that have the Art and Grace logo on them. Um, I'm so excited and I made Ron order one. He wasn't real happy because he's like, can you not get this at a discount? And I said, no, I need you to complete the process just like you're a regular person so I can see how it goes. And then, you know, when I get the, because it's not, I don't have the t-shirt here. I'm using a company to fulfill the orders. So um, I want to go through the whole process and just, you know, see how the process is and how fast and all that. So it's hilarious because he's like, and you know, I have a discount code that I give my VIP ladies. I forgot to use it for myself. So he paid full price. But you know what? It's a small price to pay to help your wife and her business. So I don't even feel bad about it. My Etsy page is Art Grace Paint. You know, um, Art and Grace is taken on everything. Even though I own the business and, and I have a you know, the certificate and the taxes and all that with the government, it still, people will take the name on different places. So I just had to grab what they had and Art Grace Paint is my name on a lot of platforms. So if you search like Art and Grace and you don't find me, it's probably under Art Grace Paint. Okay, let's go into these lemons. Let's take our darkest yellow. This is the gold, antique gold. And I'm just gonna pull some into my brush. And I know it's gonna look shocking at first. And you're gonna say, but a lemon's not that color. But we need some darkness. I'm gonna bring it around and kind of line, if you will, this lemon with this dark color. And then let's see where we go on the bottom. <laughs> kind of put it toward the bottom of the lemon down here. You know, I always bring whatever I paint around to the sides and the bottom. So that's what we're going to do. Now I'm going to tap into that lighter yellow. It's okay. You don't have to clean your brush and bring this right up the, the lemon. And it's going to kind of pull some of that darker, but let that kind of blend together a little bit. And then I'm going to let that sit there and go to the next. So clean off my brush a little bit and go to the next. Back to our darkest color. I'm going to kind of line these with that. And remember, we used a chalk pencil, so you can, you don't have to stick right on your line. It'll come off, but I try to. And I have not changed my brush. I'm just using that same flat brush. You can go to a round brush, though. Will work good. So lots of the dark at the bottom, and then to line it. And now... I'm going to tap into that lighter yellow and put that in and kind of pull it upwards. Okay. Now, again, I know that's really dark, but just hang on. This is a process. Your showcase page name. 
art and craft showcase is my free group if that's what you mean you can go in there um, I'll have to approve it but when you get in there you can post what you're making so share your pictures with us um, you can ask questions if you need help you know it's just my free page or my free group rather where hopefully we just inspire each other with sharing what we do And then we have the Alzheimer's event coming up in June. And I know it seems a little early, but I have lots to do to prep. So I start early. And um, so that group is called Creators for Alzheimer's. It used to be Artists for Alzheimer's, but I've become friends with so many crafters that I thought I needed to change the name to Creators because we're not just artists some of us do crafts only some of us do chalk only you know there's all kind of people in the crafting world so creators just made more sense okay look how easy already now from a distance already that's pretty right but we're gonna do some more to it so there we go so far let's work on some leaves uh, while we've got some time I'm gonna just go ahead and take that green and whoops give this another little coat just kind of a quick pass because it needed it and my brush does have some yellow on it no problem that just gives uh, more definition and you know looks looks pretty to have that blendedness so it's perfectly fine in fact I usually put some yellow on my leaves anyway So just giving that another now I'm gonna pull can y'all see this I'm gonna pull some of this green over here with some of my aqua or Laguna is the color this is and make like a teal I always put this on my leaves and you can see it's pretty green so I'm gonna add more blue let me put that down a second okay that's pretty I'm gonna use this right here that's got the most blue in it see that color it's uh, darker than this obviously see up against it you don't want you could have in fact I might put some of this in there um, but I'm just gonna put that into the leaves just wherever I'm not worried about where I just want to get some of this into the leaf now if you don't want that if you want to do more of a farmhouse look you can just use your uh, you know moss green and uh, Kelly green and some light green and kind of just use greens um, I think let's add a little of the lime see it come to life with all these colors I'm just a color person guys so that's what I like but if you don't you can certainly do it however you want to So there's with all the colors so far I think it still needs more of the let's try some of the just um, do I have a Bahama blue I do so let's see how close we got yes this is Bahama blue and see how close it is to what I did so I don't know how I figured that out one day I just was needing Bahama blue and didn't have it but I had the Laguna so I couldn't even picture I mean I could kind of picture the Bahama blue but I didn't have it to compare and I just mixed a little white with the Laguna I was like oh this is perfect and it's it's been great so we're gonna take that Bahama blue and put that into our leaf so adds a little bit of lightness kind of brings out what's in our painting Oh, I like that now I don't know how you feel but I like the the light blue in here I'm gonna actually now that I see that I like it I'm gonna make it a little more <laughs> like now we can go for it since I like the look okay yeah 
Okay, let's go back to our lemons. We're almost done, y'all. So we've got this, you know, just regular yellow. You can brush some more on anywhere you want. And this is sort of like a little highlight, but also just getting this lemon uh, to look more dimensional, having the different colors in it. And I'm dry brushing. This brush is dry, and I just put my paint on it, and I'm just scraping it onto this lemon. So, but because we used our darkest shade first and we went around it, you see how it's kind of got a natural outline? And I think that looks good. So there's what we have so far. So I'm gonna get that yellow with some white, get it pretty light, and then I'm gonna blot off a lot of it so that my brush is real dry. But it's still got that light on there. And then we're, watch what it does. Um, as we put this on our lemons and kind of give them a highlight. So wherever the light would hit, I'm just kind of doing it square in the front as if the sun is directly on it. And that will lighten it up. Just kind of doing like a little sort of a circle kind of look. Can you see that? Um, so here I'm just kind of putting it more to one side and then I'll put a little bit more here and maybe right here. You can do these however you want to. You just technically, you think of where you want the light source to hit. So sometimes if you want it to come from this way, you would only do this side of the lemons. But, you know, fun art does not have to be perfect. It doesn't have to be even really accurate. Of course, you don't see Bahama Blue in your leaves. So, you know, do what you want to do. It'll be pretty. But now you should start to see the lemon a little more, you know, um, come into life because it's got the different colors in it. If you feel like it's not blended great, just kind of go over and take your colors and just kind of run over the edges of what, what you just did. So I'm just kind of smoothing it all out by kind of putting some of the darker yellow back around the edges of this light yellow and that should just kind of blend it a little bit just dry brushing right around those edges so it's not harsh and there you go simple simple now if you really want to add a pop of fun because i kind of want to add a pop of fun i think let's add some purple for our alzheimer's event <laughs> i'm gonna do it because it's friday we're in a good mood, we're gonna do it. I'm gonna grab some of this purple and put some in. Um, oh y'all, here we go. Woo, this kind of made me nervous all of a sudden. But I'm doing it, because I, I gotta have some purple in there. Anyway, um, I, I'm just trying to get the word out. We want as many people to be a part as possible. I'm so grateful for everybody who's already said they wanna be a part. And I expect a really good year. I just, you know, I lost my mom to Alzheimer's and my grand, her, both of her parents. She had moved in and taken care of them during their Alzheimer's years. And it was a long road. And I don't know how she did it. Bless her heart. I mean, I know she's got her reward in heaven, but it was some hard years. And we didn't live by her to help. So it was breaks my heart when I think about how hard that was. Oh, I like the purple, y'all. I like it. Tell me what you think. I know it's crazy. Oh, good. See? Um, unexpected colors is fun. And it's hard. I think it's kind of hard at first to get used to, you know, adding in some whimsy. But it just makes me happy. I'm taking this green and I'm just going to kind of come down on these lemons because, you know, that's how they are right there. The, the vine kind of at the top of that lemon. So we're just going to bring it just, and I'll hold this up and show you up close. But just bring it right down on top a little bit. And maybe just 
dry brush a little on that vine here. Okay, so let's see. How's that? Can y'all see pretty well? Good. Hi, Crystal. Glad you're here. How's your mama doing? I know, Roxanne, I think so many of us do. I think that the society we're in and the way we live and the things we eat and the air we breathe, I think all of it probably plays a part. So you're not alone. I'm sure that I have it. I'm sure I've got pre, you know, um, both of my grandparents and my mom had it. So chances are I've got it. Um, but we can get through it together. You know, we all can. It, you need a little help and assistance and in my Creatives for Alzheimer's Facebook group, I've got resources, like a long list, a lo lots of posts of resources in Guide 2. So uh, it's Creatives for Alzheimer's. That's a group. I'd just love to have you on my team. You don't have to do anything particularly other than just help me get the word out. You can sign up to raise money if you want to. You can set your goal at $100 if you want. You know, it doesn't have to be a massive goal because if your friends and family wanted to pitch in 5 or $10 and everybody else's did, then see how much we can do. So together we can get it done. Aw, you like it? I'm glad. I hope that somebody will paint one. Alright guys, y'all have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye!